All right, guys, so today we're going to be doing a quick swap from our black line to a white line glassware. All right, so we're just going to do a few shifts within our light box here. The first thing we're going to do is just go ahead and take out our V flats that we used for the black line. And we'll just set those on the side. Now, from last week when we were creating our V flats, we have this leftover piece. So all I'm going to do here is just kind of go down the middle and just cut that along there. You don't want to cut all the way again. You want to make sure that you leave the other ends so that it will hold itself up. And this is actually going to become our background now. And we'll just set that right behind the glass. And because I have this lip here, I'm actually going to lift my glass up a little bit. All right, and then we actually want to have these smaller light sources try and spread out more evenly on our backdrop there. So all we're gonna do is raise our parchment. And then the key is to make sure that your lights are pointed at the backdrop. And then you don't wanna have any spill on the black. So you wanna make sure that the lights are hitting the white backdrop and not actually spilling over and hitting the black foam board there. So you can see right off the bat there, there's some reflections that's from my lights. So you wanna make sure that when you're in your room taking these photographs that you turn off any of the other lights so that those don't actually show up in the image. And there you can see the nice clean white line showing up on the edge of the glass there. And if you're somebody who only has one light, that's fine. I'll go ahead and turn my second light off there and show you where you can see even just one light will show up there. And what I might suggest then is use one of your V flats that you have sitting on the side there and just come in and you're gonna block off some of that light that might be spilling over on the side. So then you get a nice clean, sharp white line there. You might need to move around so that the lower end of the glass gets some of that white line showing up more. A neat trick too is depending on how tall your light box is you might be able to use another glass to stack on top and get a really neat reflection feel uh, my box is a little short though so i'm just going to stick with the one and another reminder to make sure that your glass is as clean as possible um, that'll save your life in post and just make the glass look a lot neater. All right, so the next thing I want you to do now is you're gonna to go to your app store and download the Lightroom mobile app. Download. All right, once that loads, you'll open the app. Go ahead and skip the introduction. You're gonna log in using your Google account. So type in your information. Um, I set it up as a school account just because I'm doing it for this class right now. You could also do personal if you prefer. It's gonna like access, allow. All right, once you're in there, you're gonna be able to go to the camera icon, allow the access to the camera. And what this is gonna actually allow you to do is control the shutter speed, control the ISO, and because when you look at this, it's going to want to bring that black to gray. Remember, that's kind of always what it does with that auto. And you want the black background to stay black and then to just get that nice white line on the edge there. So you can change those settings from automatic to professional. And then you'll actually be able to line it up. And then you can speed the shutter up if you need to or slow it down. and you'll be able to get those photographs. All right guys, now that we have those photos, I want you to go ahead and create a new folder in your Google Drive. And then you're going to, in the app, you'll go to download those selected files, download them onto your camera roll, and then you'll be able to upload them into your Google Drive and then hop on the computer and start to edit and clean these up. All right guys, now that we are in Photopea, we're going to right click on our background, go ahead and duplicate the layer. We can rename that our edit layer, 
And first thing I want to do is I have a few spots here that are bleeding over and I want to just clean up this glass a little bit. So spot healing brush will probably do just fine. All right, that's pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and do a layer, new adjustment layer, levels. Let's bring our whites up just a little bit. And also do a layer, new adjustment layer, hue and saturation. There's not much tone in here, but I'll go ahead and take that all the way down. And this is just another way to make a black and white image. Last week we used a black and white layer adjustment. Here, just showing you using a hue and saturation adjustment. And what we can do now is go ahead and add a new layer. Now, because this is a solid black background here, all we have to do is grab a paintbrush, get black, and paint black on the edges. And I'm going to grab the burn tool and come in on our edit layer and just along the bottom here, burn out some of the camera charger that I used for a stand. I'm going to grab my crop tool and make sure my glass is centered. And hit enter. Then you can do file, save as a PSD, file, export as JPEG, and submit on Canvas.